Hello fellow copy botherers. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Sage or Breville Puck Sucker, or to give it its interesting official title, Sage or Breville the Puck Sucker. So a while back, a customer who bought the Oracle complained that they couldn't knock their puck of coffee out into the knock box when the baby was sleeping. The banging noise was too much of a risk when they'd finally got the little one off to sleep. So when you've got two new parents, both hugely in need of caffeine, the option is to share a coffee or to scoop out the puck of coffee with a spoon, which should be illegal. They listened to this, went away and created this, which is designed to quietly remove the puck from the basket via suction. So the main question obviously is, does the puck sucker suck? Well, yes, the puck sucker sucks. If it didn't suck, it'd suck, but it does suck, so it doesn't suck, which kind of sucks because the puck sucker sucks would be a really catchy title, but it does suck, so that sucks. Before we get into the demo, I just want to save people the trouble and embarrassment of doing what I did. What I did was I unboxed it and I thought, hmm, that's strange, no plug or anything, how clever. I then tried to use it and it didn't work, and that's because I'm a moron. On further investigation, I discovered this marvellous feat in ingenuity and engineering inside the box known as a 9 volt battery. And I also discovered that this works way better once you've actually put the battery in. So that warning aside, let's demonstrate. Quick note from Editor Wes, now you've seen the puck sucker working, it's important to show you what happened the first time Kev tried it and why it needed a little love tap to fall out. After some research, Kev found there are two causes to this. Number one is the soggy puck caused by underdosing. If you have a soggy puck, the required pressure to fully suck out the puck isn't quite generated, so it just needs a little bit of help. And number two, not having the portafilter level. This can stop the required suction pressure from building up. Kev has since used the puck sucker and says it's working every single time, eliminating these causes. Suck up. Genius. Now back to Kev. So you've seen the puck sucker in action. What do we think of it? Let's get the negatives out of the way first. It's quite difficult to see through the side whether your puck has been removed or not. The blurb says it's a clear vessel and the material may be clear, but it may be just due to the tint, texture and condensation. It's very difficult to see inside. Sometimes if you leave the portafilter in place for a few seconds and then remove it, the puck is gone, but not always, as you've seen. Sometimes you need to give it a bit of a love tap to encourage the puck to drop out. So I just wish it was easier to see through the sides so you can see when the puck has left the basket. If you listen very carefully, you might hear the puck landing, but only when it's empty. When there are other pucks in there, you probably won't hear it as it's softened by the other pucks. They only make this for their 58 mil baskets. They don't currently offer one for their 54 mil machines, which seems a bit of a shame since they have so many more 54 mil machines than 58 mil. But it hasn't been out long, so I can only assume that they're waiting to see how well it sells before deciding whether or not to make a 54 mil version. What I do like about it is that it works. So this is a solution for anyone who doesn't want to use a knock box. Why this might be the case, it could be that you're scared that banging loudly will wake the baby or your partner who works different hours to you. Or if you have paper thin walls and you don't want to annoy the neighbors, this is so much quieter than banging your port filter into a knock box. Aside from the noise of using a knock box, I think this potentially has other benefits. For example, if you have wrist problems or any physical condition which makes knocking out a puck a bit of a challenge, you can just place it on the puck socket. Also, potentially, it's less messy. You might find that the work surface and or the kitchen tiles or whatever end up covered in small coffee splashes from knocking out the puck. And you won't get this with the puck sucker. Many people will watch this and say they don't get it. What's the problem with using a knock box? And I'd agree, I wouldn't buy one of these as I've got no problem with using a knock box. But for the people who this is made for, people who don't want to use a knock box, I think it's a great idea. And I think it's infinitely better than digging out portafilters with a spoon. If you've got one of these, please let me know in the comments below what you think about it. The first hockey pucks, which obviously coffee pucks are named after, were made out of frozen cow crap, which has got nothing to do with clicking the like button, but How? click the like button if you've ever seen a cow. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you love coffee and enjoyed this video, we've got tons of content about how to make better coffee at home to take you from beginner to home barista. And we've got reviews and how to's on the most popular machines. If you like the sound of that, click my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.